Hey, yo, man, this is Don Pacino representing Staten Island, home of the brave. You know what I mean? And you watching my dude, Fifth Seal. What up, y'all? It's the show off DJ Static Selector. You're checking out Fifth Seal. We're from Slovenia, and, and you're watching Fifth Seal. We all watching Fifth Seal. All right, you know what's good, what everybody? Is. So today, I'm going to show you how I use a transient shaper, or I think the NPC calls it the air transient. And I use this on my break beats, and I also use it on my one shot um, kick snares and hi hats as well, and how I layer them. And what it does, it cleans up my drums, and it gives it a punchier and it a punchier sound, and it hits harder too on kicks, hi hats, and snares. So let's get into this. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into menu, program edit, and all the way to the right, you see where it say effects? Where it say no effect? I'm gonna open that up. I'm going to scroll down to um, Dynamics right here. I'm going to open up Dynamics. I'm going to open up Air Music Technology. Scroll all the way down to where it say Air Transient. That's my little secret weapon I've been using ever since I got this new MPC Live. So we open it up Air Transient. Check this out. What it does is actually what it says. The transients is the peaks in the um, in the waves that you see. So let me back up real quick and show you in case you guys are not familiar with that word so I'm gonna hit a sample edit and you see in the wavelength you see the the peaks meaning the top and the bottom those are called the transients right there we're gonna mess with those and make them and make them punch you know what I'm saying that's what I use this for and, and it, it cleans up drum breaks really good it cleans up kicks snares and hi-hats but from my world, meaning the, the vinyl record world, it works really good with vinyl records because the vinyl records has a lot of air and hiss in them. Um, so check out what I mean. So we're going to go back into program edit and I'm going to open this up and uh, I'm going to play the break beat and then we're going to watch this. So I'm going to add some attack. I'm going to add a lot of attack and listen what happens. Now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a take away from the, the sustain. All right, so check this out. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take away. I'm gonna add negatives. Well, I'm gonna subtract from the sustain right now to clean up the air, which I don't like. So you hear that? To me, that sounds cleaner. I, I like the way the hi hats are hitting too. So yeah, that's basically it when it comes to. Um, let me make it. Let's. Let, this is how I like it. Right? I like. I like. I got my own settings. I like it like seventy-five. I like this like around negative seventy. Like this, like around 70. Um, let's put this like around 60 and l listen to the difference now. Nice and clean, but it's still got that analog feel, you know what I'm saying? Because it comes from a record. So now, here's a little extra tip what I do with these breaks. I'm just going to unmute, I layer them. So I'm gonna, uh, let's unmute the snare. Now I'm gonna add the kick. Now we got three snares going on on top of the break. So we got this with some reverb on it. We got a little snap, I think, and another snap. And those snaps are going on, on um, you got one snare, then a snap, then another one snap. Uh, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go into the grid and look at the snaps. And all the sounds you hear have the, let me play it. 
So all the sounds you hear, they have the air transient on them. So if you don't have an MPC or if you have a different door, Native Instruments has well has Native Instruments has a uh, air transient as well or transient shaper. I believe Waves has one as well. So yeah, that's about it. This is this is a little quick tip for you guys how I make my drums hit harder using the air transient in the MPC Live. It has it in standalone and it has it in the software as well. If you guys got any questions, just hit me up. All right, so you know what? Before we go, let me show you one more break beat just to show you how it works real quick and the feel of it and how it cleans up the break beats and it makes them hit harder and it takes out that air and dirtyish sound. I like I like my drums clean. You know what I'm saying? I like them clean and punchy and bright. Anyway, let's go into it. So check it out. I loaded up another breakbeat for you guys. This one is synthetic substitution. Check it out. All right, so that's without the air transient. We're going to go to menu, program edit, down here effects, open it up. We're going to go down to air transient, open this up, and check this out. We're going to we're going to add it as as we play it. You see how it cleans it up? So what, you, what I would do right now, so yeah, from there I would just lay the drums up. I would add some, um, maybe like a, eight, a low end 808 kick underneath the kick just to give it the boom. I would probably lay the kicks again, um, I mean the snares, I would lay the snares, a different type of snare. And that's it, man. Just to show you guys, this is my little tip and trick how I, how I clean up my drums. And it does give it a punch, you know what I'm saying? So let me know if you guys try it out and, and um, let me know what you think. Uh, that's it, man. Fifth Sale, I'm out. Peace.